so this was quite an interesting one. My car had been running at a really good LPG uh, miles and really good fuel miles in. For some reason, it started dropping down. I couldn't quite work out why. And, you know, and then I thought maybe I'd actually imagined that I was getting uh, over 220 miles to the tank um, on the LPG. And it dropped down to about 178 to about 180. Then I'd have to, I'd be getting the beeps and I would just make it to the fuel station. So anyway, um, when we were looking at the, the car, we noticed there was some oil in this area here. Um, and a, my a mechanic suggested that maybe the, the PCV valve, which uh, had possibly gone. So that's a positive current case ventilation valve, uh, which in the Alphard is buried on the three liter, and it probably is, is buried down there. So let's get some, some uh, bearings here so you can see where I am. Okay, so going down here, all the way onto here, and just behind there, that's it hidden over there. And what that valve does is it uh, feeds back any uh, any uh, uh, gas which is built up in the crankcase, um, and as see past the the pistons, it feeds it back to uh, past the valves. It feeds it back into the uh, airflow uh, prior, sorry, post post uh, mass sensor. That's the the mass airflow sensor. So. It's a, it's expecting to get some of the gases passed through uh, back for reburning, and that keeps the the uh, noxious uh, particles put put out by your exhaust to minimum, um, and also it uh, it reburns the fuel, um, it, all those little uh, uh, oil particles, etc., which is and gas particles which escape past the valves into that area. So it basically keeps the crankcase uh, pressures down as well, um, and. That also prevents if it if it blocks keep the, the crankcase pressures down, which uh, also prevents the crankcase seals from being overpressurized and oil leaking from the back. So if you've got oil leaks, that's an indication that you may be having problems. So what does the valve look like? That's the valve there, and it's quite simple to replace. That's a 19 uh, 19 millimeter uh, socket that goes onto it, unbolts, and you can see it's had some uh, Teflon tape onto there. Uh, just to create the seal and that's where the pipe goes on to so it's easy enough to to replace the the thing is you just need to know it exists and this will be as i said 21 years old you can get a genuine toyota one replacement they're only about 20 quid or something um so that's what i'd recommend and the way to test it is to shake it and if it rattles it, it's good and if it doesn't rattle it's uh it's gone bad so it's either stuck in the open uh, or closed position uh, both of them will crow, will throw up uh, faults and mess around with your your fuel trim. So that's where, again, a good mechanic will say, well, there's a problem there. We just got to find out where it was. And um, sure enough, he, he spotted the, the oil leak coming through the, the seeping of the oil through the, the crankcase um, uh, gasket. So there's you to be replaced. And uh, he replaced that. And... All of a sudden, I've got the fuel going up now, the MPG up to 233 uh, on, a, on a run. That's a sizable difference. That's an additional what, 40 to 50 miles per tank on LPG. And that really is a huge difference to myself, uh, just in fuel economy. Um, also, I've noticed the fuel trims are much, much uh, more balanced. I've still got some uh, Bank 2 fuel trims that are, are showing a little bit way for, wayward on the long-term ones. That might just be a simple reset, but... Uh, again, it's more likely to mean that there's, uh, uh, there's, there's a, the seals are uh, pushing out air, um, oil and air. So that's um, that's one that's a problem that I've just uh, recently fixed. Other thing which which gave an indication of was was the dropping in the oil levels, which had been pretty static all this time, and then I noticed I had to put a, a good a half liter of oil in for the first time ever. Now. What I'm going to do is just going to change the engine oil just in case there is any uh, uh, condensate or anything in the in the oil, which would uh, just eat away at the insides of the the car. So I'm going to change all that just to be on the safe side and probably do a double change of oil um, just once the once the the seals are all replaced, um, and just to make sure that we're not going to run into problems in the future. Uh, being cautious as I always am uh, with this engine. I hope that has helped and as I said these things are 
fairly cheap, fairly easy to replace. Um, and you know, if you take it out, if you can bother, be if you can bother to take it out, just replace it. Don't put it back in again, even if you, even if it feels uh, as if it's got a rattle. Just change it over. Twenty quid, uh, job done. You can read up more about PCB valves and a, how they affect the engine, but for such a simple part, it's uh, it can cause big problems.